A praying woman births destinies. She is an asset to herself, her family and the nation. Daughters of Destiny Interdenominational Fellowship has been raising women intercessors for the family and nations for over 15 years. At DOD, women of all ages are empowered for spiritual growth and life purpose. Watch our broadcast on this TV station every Saturday as Apostle Busola Jagede brings the timely Word of God and fervent prayer that will bring you salvation, healing and breakthrough. Connect with us on Facebook, Daughters of Destiny Interdenominational Fellowship, Instagram at WeRDOD, email and telephone 0803-304-8311. Somebody, the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge that you need to make progress in your life. The one your husband needs, the one your children need, the one you need on your career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Daughters of Destiny. Strategic prayers towards your birthday. This is a book I wrote because it has been so beneficial praying towards my birthday. I took time to fast and pray towards my 55th birthday and I had awesome testimonies. I've captured those prayers in this book called Strategic Prayers Towards Your Birthday, filled with destiny enhancing prayers. You need to prepare towards your next birthday. Set time aside to fast and pray using this book and you will be amazed at the enormous open doors, opportunities and favor that will come your way even as you enter your new season in life. You can order for this on konga.com or on PayPal. We also have the ebook available. Look at the link below and order for your own copy today. Strategic Prayers Towards Your Birthday by Busola Jegede. I want to share quickly on you are already equipped to progress. It's our month of progress. I want you to know you are already equipped to progress. Acts chapter number 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Look at that scripture. Jesus said, greater works shall you do. Everything by the finished work on the, on the cross, whatever Jesus stood for, whatever he achieved, you and I already are partakers. We are joint heirs. We carry the same pedigree. It's just left for us to walk in. We only walk in the reality of that which we are conscious of and which we are powerful enough to admit. If you think you have to if your level of faith is so much that you don't go to the hospital, do you know you will be healed? We are not saying that don't go to the hospital if you, you, you are sick. But so, there are some people, their level of faith is up to that. And it's working for them. So, you are already equipped. Why? From this scripture, number one, it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. You are anointed with power. Write it there. Say, I am anointed with power. Every time I come to a crossroad and something is happening, I just need to take time to sit down to pray and think. Once I sit down, pray and think, I will get a strategy. Why? I've already been given the power to reason. And so I unleash it when I get to my crossroad. So he says, you are anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. You are anointed with power. What power are we talking about? In that scripture, it says that power brought about healing. You are anointed with power to heal, number one. You are anointed with power to make wealth, Deuteronomy 8 verse 18. I see some people that move with this anointing. Just give them a little opportunity. They will turn around. But you see, those who don't work in this reality, give them a car. They will run down the car and come back to beg you. There are some people, they only need a little help because they've got the power to make wealth. They will turn that thing around. Today, lift up your right hand. Receive the power to make wealth. I said, receive the power to make wealth in the name of Jesus. Power to heal. 
power to make wealth. It says how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost. Number two, how do I know you are equipped to progress? You are anointed with the Holy Ghost. When you carry the anointing of the Holy Ghost, it does not only have to be when people fall down and you lay hands upon them. The power of the Holy Spirit causes you to be creative. Some of you, if you pray and you go, you can be a seamstress, you can be a designer, you can be somebody, a strategist in a company because you have the power to be creative. This power of creativity, we can see it, Exodus 36, verse number 1. Because of the Holy Spirit, when you carry an idea and you put it down, people will say, ah, ah, where does she get her ideas? Tell somebody it's by the Holy Ghost. When you formulate a plan, it is a winning strategy because you've got the Holy Ghost. Can you read Exodus 36, verse 1? And Bezalel and Ohelab and every gifted artisan in whom the Lord has put wisdom and understanding to know how to do all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary shall do according to all that the Lord has commanded. So the power of creativity, the power of the Holy Ghost also gives you the power of wisdom. Wisdom is right application of knowledge. You see, you can have a knowledge of something. And then, when you apply it, you end up exhibiting wisdom. So, this is knowledge. This is wisdom. If you don't understand the knowledge, you cannot apply it well. So, the link between knowledge and wisdom is understanding. The Holy Spirit teaches you things. Holy Spirit can explain something that has happened 10 years ago to you. Are you with me? Somebody can be lying to you now. Holy Spirit will give you understanding of the matter. Somebody may be saying something else. Holy Spirit will remind you, make you understand. Look at this, this, this. He will unknot things for you. I prophesy upon this house. The power of the Holy Spirit... That brings about understanding. Malekete. See, when you have understanding, you will be ahead. If you understand the stock market, you will make money. If you understand the property market, you will make money. Some people, no matter how you preach to them, they will still be afraid of Omonile. Not knowing that some people have conquered Omonile and they have moved on. Are you with me? Because they don't have understanding. If you have an understanding of the financial market, you are going to make money. If you have an understanding of ministry and how it works, even if people say people are not coming, your own people will come. Are you not here? But some people, they are still on Zoom. The Lord told me, go to the highways and the byways. If you come here next week, to the glory of God, if Jesus has not come, a tent will be there. You are going to see people from different, different places. This place will be full. It took understanding. It took wisdom to set up centers in different places and aggregate them. Somebody, the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge that you need to make progress in your life. The one your husband needs, the one your children need, the one you need on your career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. So, you are already equipped to make progress. He has anointed you. It is if you don't understand it. And the Bible says, if any man needs wisdom, ask me. Wisdom to be a better wife. Wisdom to run your home. Wisdom to manage your children. Wisdom to do whatever you need to do. So, you have no choice but to make progress. Now, for you to assess these divine spiritual resources in life, the first thing is, you must have a good relationship with God. Make sure you're born again. Live a life of holiness. To make progress in life, 1 Thessalonians 5.22. Some of us, God is with us. But may we not use our hand to bring blockade to our, to our path in life. 1 Thessalonians 5.22. Abstain from every form of evil. If God is with you, be with yourself. Are you with me? There are some people, God is with them, but they don't like themselves. God is with you. You know, sometimes you may be in a situation, the Holy Spirit will tell you, don't worry. Don't shout. But flesh, it will still tell you, talk. Holy Spirit will tell you, I've handled it. Just allow me. But something will still be pushing you. Today, every power to overcome the flesh, you receive it. 
in the name of Jesus. If you want to make progress in your life, pray without ceasing. If you want to make progress in your life, whatever it is, you must be a woman of prayer. Hey, let me tell you the secret of prayer. The more you pray, the more fortified you become. The more you continue in prayer, the more impenetrable you become. Meaning you will be sailing smoothly. Now, this is the caution. Because you are sailing smoothly, you don't know that it's because of the constant work of the Spirit in your life. It is always possible to have a temptation to sleep. I tried it with my supplements. How many people are taking supplements now? Ah, thank you, Jerry. Vitamin C, zinc, vitamin D. Everybody, we are swallowing it. Corona will not kill us. Till Corona becomes, that, till we see it no more. Abby, we don't have in, in, uh, incubator. What is it they put them? What do, what do they call it again? Intubator. We don't, we don't have. Ventilator, we don't have. Go to isolation center, nobody there. Even, even a sister testified that she got to the isolation center. I said, hey, she will die here. Oh. See people. She said they should carry her back to her house. She gave me the testimony. She started treating herself. I started praying because the people she saw there. How many people will want us that is not motivated attend to? So it is God that is helping us. Because we are the people of God. And it will never fail. So what am I saying? When I stopped taking my supplements because I forgot and I got busy, all of a sudden, it was not as if I wasn't feeling okay. After a while, my gum became painful. My gum, my palate, inside my mouth, I began to have sores. So I went to the dentist. I thought it was something else. Then she said, ah, the first sign of a low immune system is that your gum becomes painful. I now remember. But all the while I've been taking the supplement for years, nothing was wrong. May you not lose focus. May you not leave the arena where God has cocooned you and put yourself in a place where there's no cover. In the name of Jesus. That's a word for somebody. So, pray without ceasing. Don't say, are they still praying? Yes, we are still praying because the Bible says we should pray without. Prayer never expires. We add on to prayers to succeed in life. Number two, you want to make progress. Set goals for yourself. Set goals. Set goals for yourself. During the pandemic, when the churches were shut down, we came here and we set a goal. Before they say the churches should open, we have to build the gatehouse and the fence. That was an achievable goal. Rather than finish the building. And that helped us by the time we finished it and people came back. Everybody was encouraged that despite the pandemic, we're still making progress. It is important you set goals that will encourage you. Set achievable goals. Push yourself a bit. Next, if you want to make progress, put actions in place. Put plans in place so that you can take action. Don't just mouth it. Don't mouth it. Put plans in place. What is your plan? What is your plan to move yourself from where you are? What is your plan? You didn't go to school. You didn't have opportunity. What's your plan? Do you want to start a business? Do you want to do something? What is your plan? Don't just say, God will help me. God is helping all of us. You must have a plan. Next, personal growth and personal development. Daughters of Destiny. If you don't move, people are coming behind you and they may overtake you. Nobody is stagnant. There's no vacuum in the spirit. In whatever way, improve yourself. It may not be school, but do something. Add on something to yourself. This is very important. In our fast-changing world, the believer has been called to thrive. No matter the prevailing circumstances, there are spiritual keys to unlock good success and ensure victory in every area of life. Discover some of these life-changing keys in these incredible books by Apostle Pusola Jegede, 100 Days of Fire and Power. In our ever-changing world, where distractions arise and schedules shift, there are lots of obstacles to a consistent prayer life. But for us as believers, prayer is non-negotiable. That is why 100 Days of Fire and Power by Apostle Busola Jegede is an excellent resource for everyone. 
It is a manual that will help you go before God as a covenant time consistently for 100 days and more, connecting you with divine grace, mercy, and God's limitless provision. Deliverance to go and break free. There are many spiritual battles raging in our world every day. In Deliverance to Go, get knowledge on how to pray through life's challenges and receive much needed clarity on the subject of deliverance. Break Free, the sequel to Deliverance to Go, is a hands-on spiritual warfare manual containing actionable principles to win the war against spiritual bondage. Get this book and find out how to live as more than conquerors in Christ. Move to the next level. What is your next level? How do you get there? Move to the Next Level by Apostle Busola Jegede is an instructional manual that will inspire and give you the prophetic push to your next level. This unique prayer plan is a must-have resource for spiritual and physical advancement. Lord, deliver and bless my marriage. The marital journey is first a spiritual one, so when crisis comes, we cannot afford to fight blindly. In Lord, Deliver and Bless My Marriage, you will learn to fight for your marriage in the place of prayer and get practical solutions to overcome the many issues that may arise. Now more than ever before, we must pursue knowledge and be equipped for life's journey. These books by Apostle Busola Jegede are essential faith-building resources to help you win every battle. Get your copies today on conga.com or call 0803-304-8311 to place your orders. Since creation, women all over the world have had to endure through difficult circumstances. And time and time again, we have proven that we can rise above them. But sometimes, we find that on our journey, defeat seems inevitable. Today, we face challenges in our careers, marriages, homes and businesses. Oftentimes, society turns its back and we are left all alone. At Daughters of Destiny, we want every woman to know that help is always available. We are here to offer godly and practical counsel for various issues peculiar to you as a woman. Contact us today via our counseling hotlines 0708-307-6210. You will overcome. You are a daughter of destiny. We are daughters of destiny. If you want to make progress in life, yesterday when I was talking to Pastor Tomiwa at 8.30 when I got off from, now, from when I finished the broadcast, I could not even break my fast. I was doing a John Maxwell course. My neck was stuck, I'm telling you. Looking at a computer like this, in this my old age. I told her, I'm trying to stretch my neck. Adult education. Do you know why? If you don't move, people are coming behind you and they may overtake you. Nobody is stagnant. There's no vacuum in the spirit. In whatever way, improve yourself. It may not be school. But do something. Add on something to yourself. This is very important. My late father-in-law at 80-something, I just went to Instagram. He died last year. No, two years ago. He died. I just saw that this man even opened Instagram page at 80-something. This is Baba in Ekiti. In that is house. There's nothing he doesn't know. He always, he is always catching up. He sat on his bed. He took a picture, put profile picture. Some of us now, if they say open Instagram page, you don't know how to open. It is something, year old man. I said, hey, grandpa even had Instagram page. Facebook, he has been chasing us on Facebook. So, you are not too old. It's just a matter of your mind. Somebody will not be stagnant. Attend seminars. Increase your capacity. Don't stay stagnant. Learn about everything. When they are talking beside you, don't act ignorant and unconcerned. They are talking about Fulani now. You don't even know. Eh? Who are those? What did they do? Your phone, look at what is happening. You've got to be informed. An informed mind is a vibrant mind. Do not procrastinate. Learn about everything that comes your way. I pray for somebody you will make progress in Jesus' name. I say you will make progress. Seek the company that will push you forward. Seek the counsel of people 
Who are shining lights in the area where you want to go? If you are a baker, look for people online who are baking. There is no charge for spying. Look at what they are doing and do it. Even scripturally, he says, those I'm looking for men, Apostle Paul said, I'm looking for men who are able to teach others. That's the system of God. In any area where you are, look for somebody, humble yourself. Forge relationships that will help you. There are people I align with. Yesterday on that John Maxwell thing, there's something called mystery networking. As soon as you press it, you will just see somebody and your picture, two of you will be connecting. I connected with people I don't know from all over the world. Do you know what will come out of those relationships? Relationship like my son, uh, Diabelo. That's the work of relationship. Relationship will open doors for you. I connected with one woman. She said she's a life coach. I said, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm developing to be a life coach for women. She said, oh, we got to connect. Next time, you'll just see flyer of me and somebody in Missouri. You'll be wondering, this apostle, hey, God even help out. God is there to help you too. Are you with me? A little help, God pours his grace. I'm ministering in the next two months for a church in Canada. I'm ministering for another church in Maryland. So many churches all over. Why? Relationship. Relationship. I heard somebody, I'll just share this, just get it down. How do you forge networks online? Because that is the source now. How do you forge networks online? If you see somebody who is ahead of you, you people in singing ministry, in whichever, always comment on their page. Like their pictures, comment on their posts. When you hear that they are coming to speak or perform where you are, carry yourself and go and attend. Don't sit down there and say, hey, it's women that are there. I don't want to go. You know, limiting beliefs. You connect with them. Tell them to tell you about themselves. Everybody loves to talk about themselves. Just say, woman of God, I, I, glory be to you, the grace on your life. Can you share with me your story? Well, they sit down. I'm coming. Dismiss everybody. Right or wrong? That's how you gain access. There is an old ancient wisdom that old people have. Many of them are retired. Nobody's going to them. If you can have the wisdom to look for older people whom nobody's listening to and forge friendship with them, they will give you secrets that will go far. If you know how to wash hands, you will eat with elderly people. We are Daughters of Destiny.